I really started painting when I was maybe 12 or something, but my parents were folks that said being a starving artist is not a great idea and you should go into business. That is ultimately what I did. We did government IT consulting, 300 employees. I owned a company and that allowed me to paint 20, 30 hours a week. I really was like living two lives. In 2012 was roughly when I became a professional artist. I kept feeling the calling to just be painting and I wanted it so badly. In 2017, I had a really bad car accident. I almost died. While I was stopped at a stoplight, dump truck pulling a backhoe ran through the light and slammed into me. He pushed me like 17 feet into the woods, completely totaling my car. They had to cut me out of it. While I was laying in the hospital, that I really said to myself, you know what, I have a second chance to at life here. I'm getting rid of the business side and I'm going to do what I love. Nobody wants to let you go. I actually lost a number of friends. Because I didn't go to art school, I always thought I was missing something. Successful as I was, I was very much not ever at peace with my work. One of the things that I messed around with for a long time was colors and palette and trying to get there. Why isn't it satisfying? I learned what I love. That just set me on a path of really thinking about it. When I was in business, I didn't like the word intuitive. But what I came to realize is like intuitive is everything in art. Now when I'm walking, I see objects on the ground that are interesting and birds fly in my path I never would have picked up on before. Love my work now. I love everything about it. I love my practice. Every piece has meaning to me. That was the thing that I was missing. Artwork is selling better. I'm having shows. I spend nine to five-ish in my studio. That's what I always wanted to be able to do. And it feels so good to me. See what you're all about sooner. Do what you love and forget the rest.